What's up everybody, it's your host Claire Jagoon, and I've got some high level Town Hall 9 action for you guys. And I'm going to start with my hit on number 10. And uh, this is a clean up attack, however the, the first hit was ground. I elected to go air. But guys, I had a really, really FML moment uh, in, in the very beginning of this raid. And I, and I really did, I planned this raid, I spent a lot of time like just kind of working out the mechanics of it. So. Just watch how, how uh, this raid pans out. And I end up not panicking with my AQ, but this is, uh, you know, this part of it too bothered me, my, my end of my funnel. I tried to make the golem go in between the cannons. Well, he didn't. He went to the cannon near the queen. So all my wizards were getting smashed on that side. But look, my jump's down. My king and queen are going in. And just watch this FML moment right here. Here it goes. CC's coming at me. Queen's walking. She is walking. I've got a jump spell. I've got cannons. Queen's like, nah, I'm not taking it. So now at this point, I know my king is dead. He got the air defense down, but that baby drag has to die. And right here, I phase. I try not to panic. And I say, if I could get this baby drag down, and I did, and that, there goes my phase two coming in. But man, let me tell you, I was like, really? Really? So, at this point I'm a little flustered, but like I said, I, I planned this attack, so I just went on with the attack as planned. And here comes my rage. I'm gonna get those core troops here. I'm gonna haste my balloons in. And I'm saving this last rage for this big pocket right here. Because I am out of balloons at this point. But I still got a hound. And I want that hound to tank. Oh, I actually got two hounds. Oh, wow. And there's, there's one pop. But I don't think the second hound pops. Because he's so fresh. I don't think he does. But right here my balloons he's tanking for him and I'm like please pop just pop I'm, I'm begging him to pop at this point because I'm, I'm down to minimal balloons I mean I got plenty of cleanup for my lava pups but this this uh, and my balloons are taking splash right now from the wizard tower and I'm like no go away but right there I knew it was done I was happy but let me tell you guys you can plan all you want but sometimes Clash of Clans is just going to do stuff that you can't plan for. And I have no idea why my king didn't, or queen didn't take take the jump, go into that pocket. If, if you know why, please tell me, because I'm telling you, I, I have no clue. I funneled her properly. I just, I don't know. I've, I've had it happen several times, actually. Uh, this time, I was able to pull off the three-star, and I was pretty stoked about it. But uh, there's been other times it cost me the raid. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let's let's go to the next one, which is Aaron. And he'll be hitting number 11. And as you can see, Aaron's got, it looks like a shattered, uh, a shattered Golaloon. He's probably got um, another Hound in the CC, I'm assuming. Uh, he's probably going to try to get these two air defense down with his, with his shattered entry. Uh, so, let's see if we're right about that. No, well, he's coming in on this. Well, he's going to get two right there, too, guys. So, I mean, and Aaron is, like, a really good planner. So, this one was very well thought out, I'm sure. All right, he's got an EQ entry, too. It's going to give him a really clean entry. holding that other golem though. It's kind of curious. Alright. Just wanted to take out that percentage I guess. Alright. So when's the quake coming? Oh 
he's going deep. He is going deep. He's got bowlers. He, he doesn't have another golem. He's got bowlers in this thing. So here comes a rage. And he phased the queen. There we go. He's going to get two air defense down. Right here. It's going down, I think. Well, not yet. Nope. They totally missed that. That's crazy, but... It's all right, Aaron doesn't panic. He's got it, boom, his hound is down, but the air defense went down. And so here, here comes the second hound. That's the last AD. He has no spells at this point. He's just gotta let his balloons fly. And they're getting it done. He's still got a hound tanking. Actually, the hound is in the back. Oh yeah, good, great. The Tesla took the hound. This wizard tower is doing some work right now, but it's not going to be enough. And there you go. There's the last defense, and we'll speed it up because it's a wrap. It's an interesting attack. I, I really I didn't know what he was going after. I didn't see this attack live. Uh, so, I, I mean, it was very interesting. I mean, there's I guess there's so many different ways you can solve a base, and uh, it just depends on your your uh, clash knowledge and, and how you think about attacks and Aaron is is uh, very good at dissecting a base and breaking it down so here we go uh, here's an old meta base right here and Gedistron uh, is gonna do a shattered go hobo and I think he's gonna go right up the guts on this one he's got the ends of his funnels clean there we go. Alright, so now he's going to wall break in at some point. There goes his wall breaker, test wall breaker, and then... Now that's a pro right there, guys. I, I can't tell you how many times I wall break fell um, just because I don't do a test wall breaker. And I have four on purpose to do a test wall breaker. But, I just, I don't know. I just don't do it half the time. All right, so he healed right here. That's that's uh, pretty curious. That's all right, though. He planned for that. He wanted his core shot to get this whole middle. And he's going to let his hogs do the work on the outside. And the middle's almost gone. The queen hadn't even phased, so there's her phase. And it's going to be a wrap for this dragon. Look at there, he's done. He hadn't even used a heal yet. Wow. So there's his heal. And look, guys, it's, it's done. This base is done. Boom. Even with all those skellies, it doesn't matter. There's a ton of hogs left. We'll speed this up. Good hit, Gatistron. Yep. Got a bowler left from the core shot. That was a rough core, though. He had a lot of work to do in there, so that heal, was, that heal paid off. All right. And now the last hit is another hit by me. It's another cleanup attack. I had to drop down a bit to get this one. Uh, he's got a, you know, he's got a good base, but his heroes are really low. And I'm going to just quake in right in between these two heroes, open up pretty much all the base, and then hog the backside. So here we go. This is a Goba Hobo. But if y'all pay attention, I've got two loons, and that was an accident. I literally done this attack when I woke up in the morning, uh, or woke up in the afternoon. I'm, I'm working nights uh, this week, so uh, when I woke up in the afternoon, I didn't pay attention to my army comp. I had made those to donate to somebody and went to sleep. And so <laughs> I go into this attack, and I, you know, I was supposed to be, you know, planned out and everything. Well, I'm here to tell you, these balloons were wasted right here. I didn't have a I didn't have a need for them. I just said I just dump them and try to get this wizard tower. It didn't work. So here comes my hogs. Gonna heal as far over to this expo as I can. And at this point, I'm just like, should I heal now? Yeah, I guess so. 
And there's a double set right here, and I'm gonna blanket heel. Because, like I said, this is a cleanup. And I had actually hit this base with Pappy and tried to be cute with my heel, and that double set killed my raid. So I was able to clean up my own mess, and that was good. So we'll just fast forward now. It's just a matter of cleanup now. Yep. And I should have saved some cleanup troops for the corners, but I never do. I go all in. So that's it. And it's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed watching these uh, war attacks from Cleric Reborn. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, guys. I'm out of here.